the Unix programming tutorials. So up to now we complete four units. So first unit regarding introduction to Unix. Second unit we see file system. So third unit introduction to shell programming. So fourth unit builders. In this fifth unit we are going to discuss in depth of shell program. Okay. So now once again we are going to see what is shell program. A shell provides you with an interface to the Unix system. That means shell is the interface between the user and the Unix system. It gathers input from you and executes programs so based on the input. That means you are going to write the programs. So for that programs, the user can give the input. So based on this input, the program can return the output. When a program finishes executing, it displays the program output. Shell is an environment in which we can run our commands, programs and we can write shell scripts. Okay, so first we are going to see shell variables. So what is a variable? A variable is a, is a storage location in the memory. Okay, a shell variable is a simply set by equating it to a value. For example, a equals to so that means the A is stored in memory. So for this memory, you are going to give an identifier A. So that means A point in this location. A variable is nothing more than a pointer to the actual data. What is the actual data here? So 5 is the actual data. So that is stored on this memory location. So for that you are going to give one name. So this pointing this value. The shell enables you to create, assign and delete variables. That means you can create the variables. For that you are going to assign the values and you can delete these variables. So variable names. So how we are going to give the variable names? In this case, a equals to 5. That means the variable name is a. When you are giving the variable names, we can follow certain rules. The name of a variable can contain only letters. Small z to z. And capital A to Z and numbers 0 to 9 are the underscore characters. Okay. So defining the variables. So how we are going to define a variable? The syntax is you can define the variable name equals to what is the value? So A equals to 5. The variable name is A and the value is 5. So how we are going to assign the value by using equals to symbol example name equals to in double quotation I can write CRR CSC. Now the content the CRR CSC is the value is stored in a variable the variable name is name. How we are going to access the content in the variable? The so name equals to CRR CSC that means in the storage location CRR CSC and the variable name is name. So now how we can access this content through variable name and how means by using dollar symbol dollar variable name so that means dollar name means the content so echo dollar name means it prints crr csc so now we see read only variables the name itself read only variables means we can read the content we cannot change the content in the Shell provides a way to mark variables as read-only by using the read-only command. After a variable is marked as read-only, its value cannot be changed. So for example, here I am defining a variable name. So name equals to CRR CSC. So that means in memory the content is stored CRR CSC. And the variable name is name. So now I make this name as a read only variable. So how? Read only space variable name. What is the variable name here? Name. So read only name means now the content in the name we can read but we cannot change the content in this variable. If you are trying to change the content in the variable name equals to CRR ID then it returns an error. The variable is read only. So now we 
see how we are going to unset the variable or delete with so unsetting or deleting a variable directs the shell to remove the variable from the list of variable it traces so that means for example in my program there is a a name student number so these are the three variables when i want to access the any variable the shell can trace the variable name in this table so for example so here there is a a so it can access the content of a if i delete this a so now the shell cannot trace the variable a so once you unset a variable that means if you delete a variable once you cannot access the stored value in the variable the syntax is unset space you can write variable name so for example so this is the variable name that is initiated with crr cs that means the name is the variable in this the content is crr csc if i try to access the variable name then echo dollar name now it prints crr csc as a output so now i want to delete this variable name so how unset space what is the variable name name now so the name is deleted from the variable list now if i try to print name then it does not print anything here we unset the variable so if you try to access the variable then it does not print anything so now we see variable types when a shell is running three types of variables present so one is local variables second one is environment variables and third one is shell variables so coming to local variables so these variables are present within the current instance of the shell for example if you open the shell in this i define a variable name equals to crcs now the variable name is local to this shell so for example if i create another child process by using the bash command now if i if i am trying to access this variable echo dollar name it does not print anything so why this name is local to the shell so by using this bash you create another child process in that shell you cannot access this name so that is about local variables so these variables present within the current instance of the shell so next one environment variables so present in the child process of the shell so that means in this child process also you are going to print the environment variables so home is a environment variable so these environment variables are common to all the shells next shell variable so these variables are set by the shell and is required by the shell in order to function correctly so for example here the name is shell variable and it is local so now i want to export this shell variable to a another child process then i can write export now this variable name is used in remaining shells also okay so first one is local variable it presents within the instance of a shell so environment variable common to all the instances the shell variables so these are created by the shell you can export the local variables to another shell instance by using export command so now we are going to see so how to define variable so for example name equals to crr cs here the variable name is name and the content is crr cs so how we can access by using dollar name now it prints crr cs so how we can make a variable as a read only variable by using read only space 
name. Now, if I print, it prints here or here, see. But if I try to change the content, for example, name equals to CRR ID. Now, it displays the error message, read only variable. If I print name, it prints CRR CSE. Now, we can see how we are going to delete the variable by using unset. Unset, what is the variable name? Name. If I try to print, it does not print anything. Why? The variable name is deleted. Now we are going to see different types of variables. The first one is local variable. Name equals to CR or CS. So this is a local variable. So now I create child process by using bash. Now if you try to print the name, it is the local variable and it does not print anything. Okay. So now we see environment variables. These are the environment variables. For example, the home is an environment variable. It prints the content in the variable. So now I, ex I exit from the child process. Now if I try to print the local variable, it prints here or CSC. Okay, this name is local variable and it is the shell variable to the current shell. Okay, so how we can export this name to the, the child process by using export command, export. So what is the name of the variable? Name. If I create a child process, now if you access this, dollar name, now it displays the output. In this case, the shell variable name is exported to child process. 